Hello everyone, welcome. I hope you are all doing well. We're going to take a look at the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For what you need to know, I've already pre-shuffled the cards and laid out the spread. So let's dive right in. The overall energy that is surrounding you, my Scorpions, is you have the Eight of Wands with the Queen of Blades. I feel your focus here is movement. You're looking to be logical, balanced, detached from emotion, being clever and strategic. Some of you have received news or messages that was left you feeling cold, hurt, disappointed, left you in your feelings. Some of you received communication that allows you to break free from a situation. But that is the focus. For most of you, there is the focus of movement. There's the focus of clear communication. There's the focus of possibly receiving communication from someone that is in that Queen of Blaze energy. Now, how you see yourselves, my Scorpions, is you have the Eight of Blades with the Knight of Blades. So, you have been feeling trapped in your mind, um, unable to see a way forward or to see a way out of a situation or way of thinking. And you are looking at, you're still looking at, with the Knight of Blades, what actions ideas you can take to help get you out of this Eight of Swords trapped energy, trapped mentality. For some of you, you have taken action and been able to move out of this trapped, stuck energy, this mental anguish energy of the Eight of Swords, utilizing that Knight of Blades, and you're moving forward. Some of you may still be feeling stuck in your mind, but this is you having your own self-imposed prison, prison. So, or this is you choosing not to see a situation. I also feel like that you have been put into this trapped thought, a way of thinking, because of someone who was operating in a night of blaze energy where some very quick, um, and very mean and hurtful communication has come in that puts you in that negative space. For some of you, this will be someone giving you communication and it'll come in quick and fast that lets you break free of that trap mentality, escape a situation that you could not see your way out of. The reason for this Eight of Blaze energy that you'll be in is you have the Page of Cups with the king of coins. I feel like this is some news that has come in or that has come in for you or will come in for you. News that you find you have to manage something. I feel like it's news that comes in that affects you negatively, emotionally negatively, that you have to, um, manage and deal with and accept or trying to find a way to manage and deal with and accept. There may be news coming in about something that you need to work on or manage and you just don't see how you can do that right now. And so you are having trouble finding the answer, the right idea or action that will address this news or information. I feel also like with the Page of Cups and the King of Coins, some of you are healing from this Eight of Blaze energy with this King of Coins that you're already working on healing and coming out of uh, feeling trapped or stuck or unable to see a way forward um, that you're healing. And I feel for some of you, some of you are not healing yet from this news or information that has come in or will come in for you and you will need to um, get to a place and hopefully rather quickly to where you do see yourself managing and resolving the situation or your feelings about the situation. In the recent past, you have the chariot with the lovers 
This is in your recent past, the chariot with the lovers. So I feel like with the chariot and the lovers being in your recent past, that you have had to take control of a situation, take control of your emotions and make some decisions around it so that you can have the victory. I also feel like um, there was trouble taking control of a situation. You may have been feeling like you were being controlled in a situation that felt karmic, that felt fixed, that you could not get out of, to, could not take control of. I feel like you had to choose to go with the flow on this situation because you could not just come out of it, that you were tied to it, bound to it in some way. I feel like it's something that may have come up for you um, or come back up for you. And you're now where you just have to compose yourself and deal with it and try to see how to move forward and what are the options, your choices. And you're at a place, you were at a place where you just had to come to terms with a situation and not be emotional, but come from a place of logic. I feel like you are learning how to see things from a different perspective, or you're trying to learn how to see things from a different perspective. I feel like you are trying to find new ways to come out of being stuck in a situation or a way of thinking. And for some of you, you have not found a way yet a new way yet to come out of a situation that you feel stuck in. I also feel for some of you that you're, those of you who have come up with a new way, one of those new ways is that you have decided to accept and surrender to the situation in order for something new to happen as a form of change. I feel like for some of you, you have sacrificed, you're choosing to sacrifice something. You may have to sacrifice your money. Some of your money may be sacrificed around a situation. Some of you may no longer have to sacrifice your money around a situation anymore because it's, you're being able to release it. Some of you can't release it. I also feel like some of you are just stuck feelings about a situation something new that came about with this page of coins that was communicated what's influencing and energy is you have the ten of blades with the sun so the influence here on that hangman is that you are feeling stuck situation I feel like some sort of ruin has happened or some something bad some bad communication has come in something has come to light with that sun and has left you feeling stabbed in the stabbed in the back feeling that feeling ruined i feel like you may possibly feel some sort of shame appointment for some of you this is you breaking free from some difficulties that had been plaguing your mind in your in in your world because with the sun a breakthrough has come in to change your circumstances for the better what's on your mind that you're thinking about moon with the five of cups so yeah there's some sort of news of communication that has come in that put you in your feelings where you felt at a, at a loss emotionally. You felt very hurt. It put you in a very dark place with the moon. I feel like you feel ex you may have felt exposed. Thing that you did not want to come to light has. Like you um, time recovering emotionally. And for some of you, you are recovering emotionally. Because looking at the upside of things, what is available to you, and not being so focused on what is lost to you emotionally. But something did upset you. And for some of you, you're still hanging on to that upset. And for some of you, you're moving on from it and recovering. 
chair. You have justice and the queen of coins. In the future, whatever has caused you to feel upset or stuck or stagnant or having to have to sacrifice something or feel any shame for or disappointment, or discouragement, or feeling like you are experiencing some sort of ruin, even if it's just in your mind. It was hurtful, but I see that in the future, you're going to come to some balance because you're going to work on yourself with that Queen of Pentacles, and you're going to find balance about this situation. And that, you know, eventually, all of you will get around to recovering from it. But it's very, for each of you, how soon that will happen know why I said justice when I'm looking at the hermit <laughs> forgive me so yeah that's probably why this here I'm sorry I call this card the justice card and it's not it is the hermit it is the hermit with the queen of coins so yeah with the hermit actually excuse that that uh that was real crazy uh, that I fucked that up right there but okay it's still everything is for a reason right well you have the hermit here and the hermit does to operate from a place of balance. Justice is something you might be looking to obtain or achieve, or you may have feel that something unjust happened to you for why I said justice. I don't know. Do with feeling and wanting to feel justified or not feeling justified about something or feeling mistreated or wrong and you just but here in your future with along with this queen of wands you are withdrawing to heal yourself to nurture yourself to lick your wounds to find to get calm and centered once again he answers within some of you are just just withdrawing from others just withdrawing into yourself and not really dealing with others you with the hermit and the queen of coins you need to work on yourself in that in but you need to work on yourself and you need to analyze the situation and see how to heal from it or what you can do about it the best course of and to heal from it or to heal it for some of you just not going to look at that shit with the hermit you just like um i'm turning my back on that I'm not going to give any energy um, because that's the only way I'm going to have peace with this Queen of Wands is that I'm just not going to look at it. It's too painful. Viewing you in your world, you have the Three of Coins with the Emperor. See you working on yourself, managing yourself, take control of yourself, putting in some of you see you as the who is managing with the help of others or, or participating in a group dynamic where you are the one taking the control of the situation and managing the situation so that you can build and create something new. Or that you working on having control over yourself as it has to your dealings with others. Some see you as receiving support or being the support to others. And some of you are the support from others or you're not being a support to others regarding a situation involving other people. Seen as you are working, they feel that you're working on something that you are very much in control of, but it's not quite clear what you're building because you have such control over it, what you're building, what you're working on. And it's myself and I, where it's just you dealing with whatever needs to be built. You are creating it. You're relying on you, you and you. Some people, for some of you, you may be being seen as controlling and manipulative and overbearing in relationships. Or this might be how you are feeling about others towards you. 
you are being seen as working on yourself, not being so overbearing in relationships. And some of you may be seen as someone who is not working on themselves. In fact, they're doing more to control the situation, that you're doing more to control the situation or this could be happening to you. There's an area in here. Manipulation and, and um, but definitely some healing that needs to be done. Whatever gets said is something that like puts you in a real dark space, but a space that you've been in before that you thought you were away from. And that's part of your disappointment is because you thought you recovered from it, but you hadn't. News and find that it's something that you've heard about before, was dealing with before, but you're recovering from it, it easily because it's not bothering you, affecting you the way that it could have before or had before. You have the four of coins with the two of coins. So yeah, you are concentrated on your stability and balance. You're looking at how to create change that brings you stability and security. That is your focus. A lot of this change and balance is a focus on you being stable and secure within yourself for around whatever is happening for you. For some of you, the fear of imbalance or a lack of stability in your world. My scorpions, as you have the world with the seven of coins. For many of you, all of the effort and hard work you have put into a situation or relationship or whatever it is that you spent energy on, you will see a successful completion. You will be able to bring it to a positive end. It will be for you. of your labor and it roll to you and the world is your oyster for some of you that you put into a situation or a relationship is not ending or coming to a successful completion there's some sort of failure there may be a delay or you may be just letting something go because you're done with it it up and it's just not worth it to you anymore. Whatever this is, and some sort of closure to the situation. A situation or person is going to turn your back on whatever's happening. So that you can have complete, can have peace. I also feel like there's someone that is that comes. There's a person that comes in and out of your life, and um, they always leak or they bring chaos. I feel, and you know, usually they they affect you in a negative way, that puts you in that really dark place with the moon energy and the five of cups. And some of you are going to go back there when this person shows up or leaves because you have not conquered these emotions, these feelings, these ways of thinking. But some of you will learn that you have con conquered it, that you're over this person, whether they come or go. Because you know what? You just stop putting in effort. You stop caring. You stop giving a fuck. And it's over for you, whether they know that or not. Tiffany. As to some of you are gonna those negative patterns as to do with someone else or situation influence. I even feel like this is a person that you have been for some time actively working on moving away from that energy about that person, and some of you are doing well with it. Even when they return or leave, some of you, you're not. It's still a sore spot for you. It's still hard. It's still difficult. It still leaves you angry, frustrated, defeated even. Whether you're going to swiftly move away from 
your, the troubles or the the problems that another brings to you or or a situation or not are you going to operate that could help you to move away from what's going on or are you going to be in your feelings either way it's going to be a change but which which end of it do you want to end up on my Scorpios I hope these messages help please subscribe like and share to my video if the messages have resonated with you also if you feel that this message will resonate for someone else please share I thank you for spending time with me as we took a look for what we can expect ahead I wish you all the best joy and peace until next time take care bye